Welcome everyone, this is your boy Dryden Matoro and we're here with another Grand Theft Auto V PC modding tutorial. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more daily gaming content and tutorials. But just to let you guys know that all of the downloads are in some of the description below and requirements too. And don't forget to disable your antivirus too guys. But with that all said, let's get straight into the video. Welcome back guys and today this video is all about how to install Doomsday Heist Business 1.8 inside your GTA V PC modding folder. So we're going to get straight into it guys but before we do make sure you download all of the requirements inside my description as the most important thing and just to let you guys know that the developer will be updating this soon so guys let's get straight into it all you guys gotta do first is download the requirements and then download the mod over here guys i will leave this inside my description too once you guys finish downloading everything then as you guys already know by now that i always start my tutorials with a clean folder so go to your Grand Theft Auto V folder, all you got to do is go to your Grand Theft Auto V game, right click and open file location. As you guys can see, it's a clean folder. So since it's a clean folder, we need to go through our open IV. So click on open IV. If you have not got open IV, if you have not got open IV, then you must install that. It's easy to install. Then go to Grand Theft Auto V, Windows. It will take a few seconds to get into the application. Once you guys finish that, then go to Tools, ASI Manager. Wait for a few seconds and then install ASI Loader. Then open IV.ASI, click Yes and open Camera. Close and then close. That's all you guys got to do. Open up your GTA V folder and as you guys can see there's a mod folder in there. Now we're gonna go and install all the requirements. Now guys all you guys gotta do okay is make sure all the requirements are up to date and the latest version. So click on script hog V and extract that file. Once you guys do, once you guys did that, then click on your bin folder, then select input 8.drl and script hook v.drl and drag that into your GTA V main directory. If there's a version in there already, just click replace. Then go to your script hook v.net extract file. And then select script hook v dot net dot asi dot dil and dot xml and drag those three files inside your GTA V main directory. And then select trainer v and then select trainer v dot asi and dot ini and drag those two files inside your GTA V main directory. And then open up your menu and select menu stuff folder and menu.asi and drag them both inside your GTA V main directory. And then now most importantly guys is download map reveal and open interiors and extract that file and then select all the folders that is inside there guys select all the files and then drag them both all of them inside your GTA V main directory now make sure you guys check that you did install them all uh, no yes now we did so guys all you guys gotta do is now next is right click on your GTA V game refresh and then click, click then now right click again 
and then create a new folder and name that folder scripts then now press enter again and all you got to do now guys is select on your native ui dot dll open up that file and then now drag your native ui dot dll into your scripts folder make sure that you got the latest version of native ui if you want to check to see if it is the latest version all you got to do is right click and then now properties and then now details and as you guys can see file version 1.8 that is the latest version now guys all you guys got to do next now is is download online interiors i'll leave that inside my description once you guys download online interiors then extract that file and go into your scripts folder then now open up the folder and then there will be map fx and channel log and all that just go into your scripts folder and then now copy or drag online interiors dll and ini and drag them both inside your scripts folder and now guys we are basically done with that and now all you guys got to do is download and extract your doomsday heist business and then open up that folder and then drag the doomsday business folder and the doomsday business dil and drag them both into your scripts folder now guys once you guys finish with that all you gotta do now right click and refresh on your scripts go to your gtav main directory right click and refresh quit out of there guys and then now refresh your desktop and guys i will see you guys in the game and we are back again guys so now we're going to go and test out the mods first to see if they work press f4 to open up trainer v and double press f8 to open up your menu and that works too so let's go and look at the map guys okay okay it is there you go so we're gonna go and um go over here guys let's let's go over here guys okay let's go and teleport there and now let's go and test out the dunes they the dunes they um building so as you guys as you guys can see the doomsday is just right there you, you, you can go to any one of the ones if you want to because i already tested them more and they all do work um so i'm gonna go to this one over here but guys before you do go in there there's a few things you must do this uh this business is like the arena wars so what you guys got to do is press f4 to open up your trainer v go to teleporting go to other teleports and then scroll down just a wee bit more in the middle and then now enable your mp mats your game will freeze only for a few seconds so don't worry see and now your game has freezed only for a few seconds and there it goes and now before you do go inside there guys this is like the arena walls all you got to do now is go down to doomsday teleports and now all you guys got to do is go inside each one of these uh buildings okay except for the avenger because that one over there is not a building it is just um it's just the um uh a vehicle so yeah so guys go inside each building okay so as you guys can see i'm in this one and now just only go inside each one okay and now i'm in here submarine garage just go in each one guys okay studio lab go to the tunnel and now play a facility so you guys there you go now oh wait sorry now over here guys okay uh this this is your facility right here okay 
but as you guys can see there's so much color but you can change all this so all you guys got to do okay if you want to change the color and etc then you can just change the color here uh, to whatever you want um, it's totally up to you and the graphics you can change that too if you want to uh, I'm not gonna uh, be bothered just changing it all the time You can use the orbit if you want to. Uh, yeah, you can blow things up in here. Uh, so yeah. Uh, and press E to exit. And then now, just come back over here, guys. And now we've got a few things over here, and we got the big screen over here. But that's it. So you guys, um, the, uh, the Doomsday, uh, bunker does work, okay, as you guys can see, the bedroom does work too, I already tested it, and as you guys can see, I can sleep in there too, I can sit on the, on the couches, and over here, you can, you can do your privacy room, like, you know, the, the glass, you can change the glass, but I'm gonna leave it. Now guys, this is the garage over here. This is awesome, guys. You can, um, oh, by the way, guys, you can save your car in here, too. That is pretty good. So, guys, with that I said, just only a few issues, okay, guys. I did run in a few issues, and it did take me, like, five times to actually, um, get, get in the game. So, if you guys do run in a Scott Hook V Aero, then just only push no and then now you will get into get into the game okay and now nothing will be removed okay and then now after that guys once you get in the game just quit the game again and then now go back in the game again and now the arrow won't come back come back anymore okay so guys if you do get a script hog v arrow just push no then wait until you get in the game and then quit the game and go back in the game again, okay? And another issue too, guys, is that if the teleport, okay, doesn't appear, then you need to teleport inside the building, okay? Be, uh, and then now do it again. Repeat the process again, okay, guys? So, guys, I hope you guys do understand, okay? And... Just to let you guys know, my English isn't really good, okay? So, I hope you guys do understand me. But, with that all said, guys, thanks for watching. And I will be uploading more daily GTA V tutorials. So, with that all said, guys, thanks for watching. If you guys do like this video, smash that like button. And subscribe for more daily gaming content. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace, and I'm out. Thanks for watching, guys. I played it in a sense